Hey guys, it's Shannon and today I wanted to show you the completed coloring pages that I have for December of 2019. Now I only had a few completed pages because I actually was super busy in December so I just didn't get that much chance to color. So instead of just having a really short tiny video with a few um, images, I decided to share a coloring book haul with you as well. So we're going to be taking a look at a lot of new coloring books. But let's go ahead and start with what I colored in December. So the first book I have right here is the Disney Buddies. This is a Carrie's Mysteries. I don't know. This I got, it's a Hatchet Heroes book that I got off um, Amazon UK. These are color by number books. So you just get these square kind of grids here and it tells you what colors to use. So the one I did in December was this one right here. So we have Pocahontas and I think it's Grandmother Willow. Um, I think this came out really cool. I just, I really like doing this. Now, this did not bleed through. Um, I wanted to see if it would. I used Tombow, oh goodness, what are they called? Tombow, Tombow something <laughs> markers on this. Um, I can put the link to them down in the description, but they do not go through this paper. Now this is kind of a thicker paper but they worked great in this book. So that's the first picture I did. Okay, next I did a picture in this Simple and Easy Christmas Color by Numbers. And let's see, I did one in here. So I did this angel, and this reminds me of a really pretty Christmas tree topper angel. So again, this is just a color by number book. It has really cute images in it, but I did that angel. And then the last ones I think I did in December were in this book, the Mystery Colors Christmas book. Now I've done quite a few pictures in this book so far, but I'm gonna show you the three I did in December. So that is not one of the ones I did in December. <laughs> okay, here is one of my first December ones. We have this really cool cup of hot cocoa with some marshmallows in it. And let's see, I did this one which is somebody putting a star tree topper on the Christmas tree. And then the last one I did was this one right here, which is this present with a gift tag on it, which I think is really cool. I like the way it turned out. Okay, so that's all I colored for the month. <laughs> Pretty sad, but let's take a look at some new books. So these first three I'm gonna show you one of my sons gave me for my birthday. My birthday is December 13th. So I got lots of coloring books for my birthday. So this first one I have right here is the Cool Cats coloring book. It's a Dover Spark book. And I think it is super adorable. <laughs> I love all the kitties. This is gonna be a lot of fun to color in. And then he also got me the Mystical Autumn Grayscale Coloring Book by Molly Harrison. And this has some gorgeous, gorgeous images in it. I'm really looking forward to coloring in this one. I love this one with the kitty. She draws so many pictures with cats in them that I just, I really like that. But so this one is really pretty. I'm excited to own this one. And then he also got me Cute Girls by Tanya Bogima Stolova. And I think she's the artist that does like the um, nice little town books. So this one, let's see, those are some extra images in the back. But this one just has all these really cool images of these different cute girls or women that you can color. And I think that one is really fun. Okay, now for my birthday, my other son gave me these next two books, plus he gave me this big um, Bic Jolosity, I think it's called. It's like a big spinny thing filled with gel pens. I'm so excited. <laughs> so he gave me that as well, but then he gave me these two coloring books. So this is the Gingerbread Life Coloring Book by Coloring Book Cafe. And it's so stinking adorable. Look at all these cute little gingerbread men and gingerbread houses. I love it. I like the teddy bear. <laughs> so there's that one. And then he gave me the Best of Seal Aldridge 40 Fan Favorites book. 
And this one is gonna be fun. I actually am probably gonna use the gel pens he bought me and do some images in this book because there's some in here that are pretty intricate. So that is super cool. Now for Christmas, um, I got a couple books from one of my sons and then my other son gave me um, a Michael's gift card. So gonna have fun with that. <laughs> but uh, one of them gave me this book, the Fairy Houses Coloring Book. And I really, uh-oh, <laughs> there's a spoiler alert. There's a picture I did in January. But anyway, um, I really like all these different fairy houses. These are so cool. I really, really enjoy this book. I've only colored one page in it so far, but I'm definitely planning on coloring more because it's just awesome. Okay, then he also gave me Sherry Baldy, My Besties Steampunk Reloaded. So this one has 50 pages inside, but there's only 25 unique images. You get two of each copy. Look at how cute they are. I just love it. They are awesome. <laughs> I really think this is gonna be a fun book. Look, she is wearing bunny slippers for bunny shoes. That's funny. I like that one. I think that's, yeah, that's the cover image. So these are so cute, aren't they? I'm really excited about that one. And then he also gave me Cute Unicorns by Jade Summer. So again, this is another book. Most of the Jade Summer books, you get two of each image. I'm pretty sure you get two of each in this one as well. I love that one. I wanna be her. I wanna ride on a unicorn. Okay, this is just an awesome book. Super sweet, I love all the images. I really like the Jade Summer books though. Okay, so that's that one. And then I have a few more to show you. These are just some that I bought the past month. I have this Creative Haven Eerie Entangled Art by Angela Porter. I did not color that. I wish I did, but <laughs> that's just an image in the book. But these are so cool because they're, they're so tiny. Like, I mean, look at some of the details in this, but they're all like Halloween or, you know, spooky kind of themed. They call it eerie art, it's not technically Halloween, but I just think it's super awesome. I mean, look, that is so intricate. This is like totally a gel pen type book, for me anyway. So I can't wait to color in this book. Okay, I also picked up Christmas Angels by Deborah Moeller. And this is one of her newer books that just came out at the end of 2019, I believe. And I really, really enjoy Deborah Muller's books. I think I own, I own a significant amount of them. I don't, I don't own a lot of the older ones, but I own almost every single one of her newer ones and really enjoy those. Okay, I have a couple, let's see. I have two right here of these Mystery Colors books. This is Pets. Now, the one I showed you at the beginning, the Christmas one, that was the first Mystery Colors book I ever got. And then I'm like, I have to have them all. So I uh, picked one or two more up at Walmart, but then the ones that were previous that I missed, I actually went on eBay and bought. And this is one of the ones I got off of eBay. So this is a color by number book. It, <laughs> it doesn't really show you much. Like there's the numbers and then it'll have the color scheme at the bottom. So there's not really much you can see here, but um, they do have a key in the back that kind of shows you some of the things you can color. I just find the books to be a lot of fun. So I picked up pets and then I also picked up baby animals. So again, I think this is the new one. Yes, this is in Walmart right now, currently, baby animals. So I've colored one in here already, which I'm not gonna show you because that'll be in my January completed pages video. But that's just another one I picked up, baby animals. Okay, here's another color by number. This is Doodle Girls by Zen Master Coloring. And these are just all girls in different looks, different styles, and it's color by number. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Okay, 
Um, let me show you this one too. This is another, is that the last one? Yeah, this is another Zen Master stocking stuffer color by number. So this is gonna be the same thing. It's just all like little critters and stockings. And I think that's adorable. Then I picked up this giant book right here. <laughs> this is seriously giant. I don't know if you can see how big that is. Like here, let me show you the last coloring book side by side with it. Like this is a normal one. <laughs> Do you see the difference? I mean, it's crazy. This is the Bible verse coloring book. And this is just filled with really simple images, I think. Like you could, totally use these for kids to color easily like in a, a bible study class or something like that but I just thought they were really cute like I don't know I think the images are adorable and I love that there's the different bible verses on each page so I picked this up just because you know some days you just want to do something really simple and you know it never hurts to have a good bible verse on the page to go with it so <laughs> I like the bunny so yeah, this book will keep me totally busy because there are a lot of pages in here. Like, serious, a lot of pages. Two left. I have the Whimsy Girls at Work. This is Hannah Lynn's newest coloring book. And I actually haven't even flipped through this one yet. So we're going to kind of look at a few of the pages together. Now, <clears throat> you get two of each image. But if you look like this image, so we have this um, waitress here. This image is like really detailed. You can see all the detail in the background. And then this image is much simpler. Like the background is left all blank. So that's cool. And it's like a little more close up too. So this one, like it stops at her apron. This one, you can see part of her legs too. So it's like the image is zoomed in. So I think that's fun. Um, there are a lot of cute. Oh, look, she's like a beauty guru. <laughs> she has all her, oh no, she's an artist. Those are probably pencils. And Well, it could be either. I guess you could color that one however you wanted. Let's see what the detail of the image looks like. Oh yeah, she's definitely an artist. Look, it's Hannah Lynn. She's drawing a picture. But on this one, she could be a makeup artist. <laughs> anyway, these are really cute. Um, Hannah Lynn is one of my favorite uh, illustrators. So when I saw that this book was coming out, I'm like, yep, definitely gonna have to pick that book up. Oh, that one's pretty. Okay. So there's that one. And then the very last one is going to be this one right here. This is Deborah Muller's brand new book. It's called Animals in Love. And again, I haven't even flipped through this one yet. It just came recently. So <laughs> these are really cute. Oh, she did a good job on this. Oh, look at the little sloths. The hedgehogs. Oh, the hippos. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. Okay. Yeah, this is a great book. Okay, you guys, so that is going to be my completed pages for December and my coloring book haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching today. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.